Hey you guys. I'm so excited for this video because I love IKEA. And there is an IKEA in Egypt in Cairo. And so I thought I would do a little tap scratch through the store for you guys. I've um, started kind of upstairs where they have all of the little rooms that they have set up to show you examples of what rooms could look like if you used their products to decorate with. That's my favourite thing about IKEA. Um, all the different like room setups and the way you can walk through them. There is music in the background. Um, so sorry about that. <laughs> Some of you feel like it just makes you feel like you're more in IKEA, which is great. But sorry if it is distracting for some of you. So this is a living room setup. They have a couch and then the books that I showed you earlier some frames on the wall. They had this like mm, huge poster board of, of sorts that kind of was like a picture and made you feel like you were outside, like outdoors. And they showed this like little children's play space that could be outdoors. I've seen this tent at many Ikea's. Some artificial grass there. This is a little kitchen that they have set up. I like this little, I think it's a, like a dish drying mat. It's like silicone. Made some great sounds. little sink, some different towels and pot holders, spoons and little spatulas, stove there. It looks like Kind of like the size of maybe an apartment kitchen in the US and and it's it's probably that here in Egypt too but I would say generally even in a home uh, the kitchens will be smaller than in the US so IKEA uh, very wisely designs the spaces um, to be more the size of the country that they're selling the items in. So this little room, this little kids room is a bit smaller than a lot of rooms in the US would be. And so I like that they designed it to fit the spaces in Egypt. And I know that they do that in every country that they are in. I think it struck me most when I went into one of their bathroom setups. I'll show you that soon. It was a tiny little space that for me because I'm used to uh, bathrooms being a bit larger than that in the US. I love the small sizes though, they're more fitting for me actually, but um, yeah, it's, it's different than what I'm used to. This is the kids' room, they've got lots of little things set up um, for the children to, you know, here hang their backpacks after school and a little desk and such. This is kind of nice. This opens up and you can put things inside. IKEA is the best at using vertical space. Meaning in your space if you use the walls or just vertical space in general for organizing, decorating, storage, um, it gives you more space.
there was a long time where I was looking into tiny houses to live in very seriously and so I learned a lot about um, using your space really wisely and using it for multiple purposes and so I feel like Ikea has a lot of products that if you ever did live in a tiny house you should, you should check out some of the uh, um, products because they are very good at combining spaces kind of like a two-in-one use of a space as well as using your walls or like the, the kind of cabinet I showed you there that just pulled out and popped back in this is a tiny little kind of closet and this is the bathroom I was mentioning before that is just a bit tiny tinier than you would ex you know if you were used to going to Ikea um, in the US then you would walk into the Egypt Ikea and the bathroom would feel small to you but it's the perfect size I think it's like I said, I like tiny spaces, so for me, I, I love it. And it's, it's not super tiny, it's just like, I don't know if you've ever been to Europe before, but if you go into a bathroom there, you'd have a similar feeling. It's just there's like smaller spaces, then the US just seems to make everything very big. <laughs> Little shower here. They really went all out at this Ikea, they had like the fake shampoo and all the little, like even, I don't know if you noticed, but inside that washing machine there were actual clothes. So this is a bedroom set up. I love the sound of these. I don't know if they're boxes or what, but they sounded really nice. And they've got some boxes down here. A nice bedding set up. That says new in Arabic, the sign on the pillow there. to go back for a bit more of that. This is the bedding, kind of a nice blush coloured quilt blanket and here there's um, kind of a big drawer set that kind of went up the wall there. I only showed that a bit but it's kind of what I was talking about, about like Ikea doing vertical space, like those big bookshelves that stretch across an entire wall and have storage. Just some more decorations in the room. Is that on a speaker? That might be a speaker, I'm not sure. This is a living room setup that they have. And some families um, decorate their homes in Egypt very modern like this. Um, more the younger generation is doing this. Um, whereas uh, older generation uh, still has more of a very like traditional Egyptian living room house setup and decoration. Um, decorations that are more Egyptian, I guess you could say. Less, um, less modern, maybe. I am... Um, excited to show you a space that is um, a little bit less modern than the Airbnb I'm staying in currently so you can see what like a real Egyptian living room or home space looks like because I will be moving to a new spot in Cairo tomorrow actually 
it will put me a bit closer to uh, just the people and places I need to be a bit closer to. Now that I've been here for a while, I kind of know more where I want to be. And the place that I will be staying in is very Egyptian, not modern. And so I'm, I'm going to do some walkthroughs for you guys. This is a really large bookshelf that they have set up and decorated. Seriously, the people that created our IKEA art are geniuses. As I walked through here, I thought, wow, IKEA is equally successful in most countries, if not all, that they set up stores in. They've got so many unique qualities to the way that they function as a store that people all around the world love and are drawn to, attracted to, enjoy, which I think is hard to do. I think that's hard to have something that is appreciated and wanted in all different kinds of cultures. But yeah, everyone's still walking around loving these little decorated spaces, loving the prices. Just the way it's set up. They've got the fun food space. They've got stuff for kids. They've got stuff for everybody. Smart people. I will say, the only thing about IKEA that can be a bit rough is that I'm usually going for like one, two things and you know, you have to walk through the entire maze and yes, you can take the, the exits to like get out faster, but I don't know why, for some reason I still get a bit lost, <laughs> so I end up just like walking the whole thing often. And I was laughing at myself here because I ended up filming mostly um, upstairs. And I, I, I kid you not, I think it took me more time to get out of the store after filming than it did to actually film the video. And again, that's because I got lost a few times. I will say it wasn't completely my fault this time. I asked an employee how can I get out instead of going through the entire bottom section of the store? I, I'm not joking, he said, see that lift over there, the elevator? You're going to want to take that down and then up. And I looked at him and I thought, I'm probably missing something because of the, the you know, maybe a translation problem or something like that. But like, it, or, or, you know, he was speaking in English and his native language is Arabic. He answered me in English. and. I thought, okay, maybe there's something really magical about this elevator and that when you get in, you go down and like maybe you have to like get out and then go up another one or something. Like, or maybe, maybe you go down and when it comes back up, it opens on the other side of the elevator because there's like openings on both sides. But no, none of those things were true. I took it down, I looked for another elevator to go up on, but there wasn't one. So I got back in and I thought, okay, maybe the like opposite door will open and it will magically let me out. No, I ended up in the same exact spot, which is what should happen. <laughs> and uh, so that did nothing for me, but spent about, you know, five, ten minutes of my time. And then I had to do the whole walkout anyways. I tried the exits a few times and yeah, I still ended up taking forever. But I realized, like, there's so much more to film in here. Like, I just did, like, the upstairs with, like, most of the rooms they have set up. But there's, like, so much more of Ikea that I could tap through. So, if that's something you guys would like, uh, let me know and I might be able to, to go back and do a bit more filming there. I've 
in this basket in the US stores for quite some time now. It's a very vibrant room, the orange wall, I like it. Got some cactuses. I love that little door, the way you push the button and it pops open. Ikea um, plants, they're little fake plants, like they really helped my life for a few years because they added greenery to my space, but it was just too busy of a time in life to be able to have real plants. So I loved having little Ikea plants here and there to bring some green. But I did not have to be concerned about watering them or whether they were doing well or not. It's a nice curtain there. You know the other thing that's brilliant about Ikea is they're like, have you guys ever gone for their like super cheap breakfast? I think it's a dollar, either that or a dollar fifty. It doesn't taste good at all, but it's still very fun for some reason. It's like you get eggs and potatoes and I think sausage. Some of it's decent, most of it's not, but like me and friends, the amount of times we've been like, do you want to go to Ikea, Ikea to grab the breakfast before 11am? It's only one dollar. We still do it, you know. And then you can get free coffee for those of you who like coffee. If you're signed up for their like, I don't know, you just like have the little card. You don't have to pay for it or anything. You just get the little Ikea family card. And then you get to have a free coffee when you go, anytime you go. Oh yeah, and they're like super cheap and hot dogs and um, ice cream. They're just, they're just brilliant, you know. One dollar ice cream, one dollar hot dog, maybe 50 cents. Okay, these are so nice, these are like, I forget what these are called, but it's so great for ASMR, and I love that it's like a window food. These little baskets have this mesh here so you can see what's on the inside. These are called hutches. A big, nice uh, living room slash dining room set up here. This was the wall. It was this really great texture. ridges on this picture and the colour. I like that deep kind of green turquoise. I like how they had the little um, tags there in Arabic. On the plates, I don't know if you saw that, just like a little name like place card, I think it's called. Such a beautiful 
uh, decoration here. I love it. I wanted to take this lampshade and just do a whole video with it. I wonder if I could just buy the lampshade. some more magic right there, that lampshade. A little kind of poof that you can sit on. <laughs> there was a second lampshade so I had to go over to it also. Look at that texture though on this wall. Really nice. So you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was fun for you to see the IKEA in Egypt, although very similar to the US, a bit different. So if you've gotten to this point in the video, let's go ahead and put, um, I'm trying to think of a good emoji for the comment section. Let's go with the uh, four leaf clover. I don't think I've used that yet. So if you've gotten to the end of this video, go ahead and put the four leaf clover emoji in the comment section and I will know that you've made it to the end. You guys were hilarious with the video where I said to put um, the green olive in the comment section and apparently not a lot of people have that green olive emoji. So you put the little like martini glass that had the green olive in it people are brilliant. I loved it. I was eating that up. Okay you guys, so thank you again for watching the video. I hope that you have a relaxing rest of your day or night and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye for now.